Do you know what academic integrity is? No, unfortunately not. Not plagiarizing? <laughs> you know what academic integrity is? No. Um, not much, just don't plagiarize. That's about what I know. <laughs> Do you know what academic integrity is? Yes, academic integrity is the responsibility of the student to be aware of everything that they are doing is rightfully theirs and not either a copy, plagiarism, made up statistics, anything like that. My name is Jacqueline Clark and I am a faculty associate with the Center for Teaching Excellence. My name is Ebru, I am the Student Rights and Responsibilities Advisor and my role in relation to academic integrity is to uh, respond to academic integrity infraction reports. So my name is Dara Greaves, I'm an English instructor at CAP and I also currently run the Writing Center. Some common misconceptions about academic integrity, I think the two, the two that stand out for me is what constitutes academic integrity and students often don't realize that self-plagiarism, using their paper from one course in another course, is plagiarism. One I would say is the idea that instructors enforce academic integrity just to penalize students, you know, just to be mean or trip them up. Um, but it's actually, it's, it's more about acknowledging the ideas that you are engaging with. If you give your work to someone and they copy it, who's in the wrong? Me? If I'm the one to do that? Yeah. Both of you? Yeah. I'd say both parties, mostly you for giving them your work because if their intentions were to copy, therefore both of you would be in the wrong because you would also be at fault. Both of us. First of all, I should not be giving you my work. Second of all, you should not be copying my work. Do you know what the penalties are if you're caught plagiarizing here at CAP? Expulsion? Yeah, wouldn't want to get caught doing that, that'd be bad. We pay a lot for our education and then to get kicked out, that would suck. I think they can like exclude you from the course or give you like a zero for the assignment. Academic probation. So if a student has been found to have plagiarized or cheated, there are a possible range of outcomes. That determination comes from the instructor based on whether the incident is considered major or minor. So if it's a minor infraction, they may get reduced grades, a zero grade on the assignment, or have an educational remedy assigned as per our policy. But the most common um, outcome that I see in those cases is usually a zero grade. In cases where the instructor determines that the infraction is major, it's more severe, um, and might require additional outcomes, then the dean will actually make a determination on what the outcome would be. It's really important to, for students to seek out the right resources and fill in the gaps in their knowledge to avoid getting a zero and having a big impact uh, on their grade. And do you know of some of the resources that are on campus that can help you understand academic integrity better? Well, the librarians are really awesome at helping you learn how to cite and like helping you find sources and all that. So, and the Learning Commons, they are also amazing. The Learning Center in the library. There's so many countless resources that students can access. So a really handy one is the Academic Integrity module on eLearn. So the Academic Integrity module is a self-paced uh, module available on eLearn that students can do to understand what is academic integrity, what are violations, what should I do, how do I deal with it. So you'll really leave that module having a very confident sense of the do's and don'ts of academic integrity. We've got the drop-in one-on-one um, writing center hours where our writing center instructors are happy to help you with any aspect of the writing process including academic integrity and there's so many more resources we've got the librarians to help with the research process we've got accessibility and counseling services which can help put students in the best position to be doing your best work basically the reason we have all of these services is because we really care about student success at CAPU and we want you to avoid these sticky difficult situations and we want you to um, develop the best writing practices that you can while you're here at CAP. All right, that's uh, that's all of my questions. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day. Okay, you too. <laughs>